Hey guys, this video is for John. He wanted to see some more tape measure math. So John, here you go, buddy. Okay, now this is assuming you already know how to read a tape measure. All right, so if I said, you know, something and a half, you know that you would be going to exactly right here. If I said something and three quarter, you know that you would be going exactly right there. If I said five eighths, you'd be right there. If I said seven sixteenths, you'd know that I was talking about right there. Okay, now if you don't know all that stuff yet, go and look at my channel. I've got a, a really good video on how to read a tape measure and that'll help clarify some of that for you. All right, now what he wanted to know is how to actually add and subtract some various fractions on a tape measure to make his life a little bit easier when he's installing things. All right, so <clears throat> let's just start off with a pretty simple one. All right, we're just gonna go to five and a half and we're gonna add three and an eighth to it all right real simple way of how to of uh, how to do this you're just gonna remember where that half mark is okay and you're gonna count over three more all right so it's gonna be one two three then since we're adding three and an eighth to the five and a half all we're gonna do is add another eighth to what we have there which is gonna bring it right here which is going to be eight and five eighths okay now, next one, <clears throat> we'll do some sub, uh, sub, subtraction. All right, we're gonna start off with 15 and a quarter, which is right there. And then we're gonna take away seven and three quarters. All right, so we're gonna count back seven and we're gonna land on this quarter mark every single time, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, we also need to, t and you know, once once we get to that point, we're at eight and a quarter. We still need to take off another three quarters from that. So that's going to be one, two, three, and that final mark is going to be at seven and a half. All right, let's do one that's a little bit harder. Let's go to eleven and five eighths, and we're going to add three and a quarter. One two, three, and then we're gonna need to add a quarter inch to that. Now from here, it's a little bit tricky on what exactly a quarter of an inch is. So you can actually count by sixteenths. So how many sixteenths are there in a quarter? One, two, three, four. Four sixteenths are in one quarter of an inch. So that final measurement is gonna be 14 and seven eighths. Last one, we're gonna be doing 13, and let's take away four and seven eighths. So we're gonna count back four. One, two, three, four, and then we're gonna count back seven eighths of an inch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we landed on eight and one eighths inches, okay? And that's really all there is to it. <clears throat> it does take a little bit of practice to, uh, you know, actually master the tape measure. Um, there's bunches of tips and tricks and stuff on there. I can do more videos in the future if you guys like. Um, but basically, it just takes a lot of practice to get real familiar with, you know, just looking at, okay, how much from this point to this point, how much is that? Well, that's an eighth of an inch. Each one of these are going to be a sixteenth of an inch. And then you should be able to pick literally any part on the tape measure say right here that's and just know that that's seven eighths of an inch okay or know that that's 15 sixteenths of an inch and then once you get really really familiar with that you can count up you can count down and it should make those installs a whole lot easier questions comments concerns complaints whines bitches moans and groans leave the comments down below thanks for watching